Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Hello everybody, this is uh, Perry with the Art Hitman. Today I'm going to be drawing Broly. I believe Broly is his name, but I'm not pronouncing it right. Please forgive me. Uh, let me know in the comment section. So as you see, I already got my structure down here, so let's get started. I'm going to start out with Broly's, uh, his face, the exterior of his face. <clears throat> For those of you who are advanced artists, um, this is an easier one. But as you can see, uh, I have a structure here. You can start out with simple circles and arc shapes here. Nothing too extreme. And if you've already been drawing for a while, there's not really a whole lot to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with his eyes. Usually uh, Dragon Ball Z eyes have, you know, somewhat thick eyebrows depending on who you're drawing or who the character is. And we'll go ahead and get his eyebrows in here. I usually try and keep it simple. I don't try and go too crazy with the eyebrows. It's, it's just a simple expression of anger. Usually <laughs> most Dragon Ball Z characters are frustrated for some reason or another. But that's, that's a, it wouldn't be exciting if it wasn't if they weren't upset about something. Am I right? <laughs> Alright. And it looks like usually when you do the eyes a certain way with the eyebrows, the more the lower the eyebrows are, the angrier that they look. That's pretty much how the drawing usually, or the, um, when it comes to their expression, usually you can gauge their anger. You lower the eyebrows or you raise them for excitement. And here it is, they don't, you know, it doesn't look like they put too much um, glare on it. They just want him to be a regular guy regular angry guy, no highlights in the eyes or anything like that. I'm already down to his nose, so they have a you know pretty simple nose. And his mouth, he's kinda got like a half smirk. Kinda like the Goku that I did a while back. It's been a while uh, since I've done a Dragon Ball Z character. And um, the last one that I did was Goku. And he has a smile of confidence, I call it. There's a line down the middle here. I'm going to add that. And he has kind of like a, a line underneath his eye. Wrinkles in his forehead for concentration. Now let's go ahead on in. I'm gonna more likely do his hair last because the hair is the most detailed on the drawing. Y'all can go ahead as you see, put his ears in. And I don't know, I don't, you know, when they come to this pose, he could maybe he's standing there challenging another op um, opponent. Usually they sit there and they like to talk a lot of trash. And who's more, who's power level with more powerful than who's, who can, you know, with one touch break a mountain with a finger. You know, uh, Dragon Ball Z is, is extreme like that. And he just touched something and he explodes. I always found that humorous. And I like that comedic part of it, you know. They're, they're breaking mountains where it would, it would take a machine or or something extremely powerful to, to take months and they would break a, a mountain down, but these guys can do it and just with one touch. And so I put his earrings in. All right, now we go to his neck. His neck is fairly thick. It's right underneath the ear. So if you follow what I'm doing, we're gonna drop lines from his ear, okay? Then he has the lines that come down here. And, and their faces is usually pretty angular. So you can go as angular as you want and drop a uh, different, uh, extreme measures uh, when it comes to their the corner of their chin and their cheek and the jawbone then appears his neck muscle right now he's bald it looks like he's bald anyway and we're gonna go to his shoulder it looks really really powerful his shoulders are really huge 
We got another muscle coming in here. It then looks like it's chest muscle here. I'm gonna divide that in half. And do the same thing with the other side. Right? So as you see, I'm just about done his structure. His chest comes out to about here. The same on the side, make it even. And it looks like he has like a sign on his chest that I'm gonna add here. Try and make it as even as possible. Again, you can, you can be as forgiving to yourself as you wanna be. You're the artist, you decide uh, whether things should be where they, where they look like shit, they should be. And it looks like he has a tie around his neck, so I'm going to put a string here. And go ahead and put a knot. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Pull back. And we got two strings on it. Ends of the strings on either side, so it looks like it's been tied. And just go around his neck like this. Pretty easy stuff, right? not hard you take your time and it's the same exact thing if you notice with drawing uh characters and you know different poses um, they have accessories or little things and clothes that they wear whatever is going on in the right side of their body is the same as the left side so you're essentially just repeating the movement okay all right not too bad as you see here we 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 gotten pretty far so i'm gonna divide his chest in half i'm gonna bring this down here I'm gonna actually lower his eyebrow here, people. Forgive me, because he looks really in intense with it. Whatever he's thinking about, he he's probably gonna do something really powerful. So let me bring that down even lower. Always take the time if you, as an artist, if you feel like you need to go back and make changes or something, do not hesitate to do that because it can make the drawing that much better. Okay, now we are ready for his hair. And their hair usually is really, really uh, extreme. So let's go ahead and do this one, one lock at a time. I'm gonna come here, as you see, drop that, come back, bring that in. Same thing on this side. If you notice, I'm gonna do the same thing right to left, over his ear. And then if you notice under here, he has a hairline. So we're gonna drop that in. And then I'm bring these down. Three, one, two, three. If you see, I counted three strands here. And of course he has a hairline, so we're gonna drop that in. If you don't put this in, it just simply looks weird. I don't know what else, how else to explain it. You don't wanna leave certain details out. All right. And this is a little more angular. Now I'm gonna come right out here. Now watch this. If you notice, I have borders here. Remember to put this in your drawing in the beginning. Have these here so you know where you want everything in relation to what. I always made a joke about Dragon Ball Z characters' hair. I always said that their hair could be a weapon. Don't you think? <laughs> Looks like their hair can cut you. Like they can just uh, come at you and just take their head and ram you with a bunch of spikes. I'm just kidding. Just gotta joke around every now and then. So I'm going ahead with Broly and putting his spiky hair in. And for the artist, this should be the fun part because this deals with um, making things match from right, right to left. Okay, so I have the spikes on either side of his hair. Now I'm gonna go above, just blow his earring and do another one. And from here on out, guys, it's just simply simply repeating the same thing. Curve that a little bit. Earring. And remember, when you're putting your pencil lines in, you can be as rough as you want. In this stage of the game, uh, you're not going for perfection. You're just, again, all I always repeat myself. You're just putting the lines down on paper. You see this? You can go back and reset over that line. 
same thing here. If you see there's an overlap line, erase it. Okay. In between here, you got another spike. Or hair, it is hair lock. Or a lock of his hair, excuse me. I'm butchering that all up, right? <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself so far. I know I am. Having fun with all of this hair that Broly has. Now, from here to here, I'm going to bring another one in. And it kind of goes upward. Then there's another one over top of that. It should be a little shorter. Just come in a little bit. Bring that in a little shorter. This one comes out here and goes over top of this one. See that? Got it, got it. Got him. That's just a saying of mine. Got him. I hear a lot of individuals saying that nowadays. I don't know. I just felt like saying, got him. It just simply means I'm getting this drawing together. We have another little one coming out here. And then over the top of that, in between, there's a small one, then another one. I mean, this guy has a lot going on in his hair. So in the comment section, let me know if you think that I've, I've done a pretty good job with his hair because he has a lot going on, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. So if you're drawing, you're into drawing, spend a lot of time on his hair. And I'm going to just put two more at the top and this should finalize it. And for those of you that are new to the show, thanks for stopping by. Those of you who've been here for a while and watching me, Thanks for coming back and visiting. And uh, I'm looking and checking. It looks like I have everything that I like here. And for those of you who are inspiring to be artists, stop by anytime. You're welcome. And please subscribe to help this channel grow. And as I often say, until next time, here's Broly from Dragon Ball C. And guys, keep drawing.